Okay, another sort of match here. This is um, April 29th, a couple days ago. This is the one where Mike Payne is working as a bartender. He's working with Erica Schlager. And then I'm thinking he might be married to Melanie Sanda, which is my daughter's father's wife. So we've got three people linked together from... You know, I know that Mike Payne and Erica Schleyer had met each other, but obviously they have been working together. There's other many other signs that those two have been working together forever. Um, but Melanie Sand is now appearing in the story. Not very surprising to me at all. Um, but this part here, I feel like um, having a drink, or I come in and have a drink. I order beer, but I've been craving whiskey. So it's this thing about craving whiskey. Um... Every once in a while, I will have a craving for, it's specifically like um, sour mash, like Jack Daniels type whiskey or whiskey and Coke or something like that. And, um, you know, if I were to go to a bar and have a whiskey and Coke, I, you know, would satisfy that craving. Um, it's not like I'm, you know, it means I'm going to endlessly drink whiskey and Coke, but it is, I believe, something that they are able to program into my brain, sort of like they program Chris's relapses, and it's a very powerful craving, and it's not just whiskey and Coke that they've made me crave. They've made me crave, crave ice cream, um, and specific types of ice cream, like I just have to have chocolate mint ice cream. It is an unbelievably powerful craving um, when it is what I believe um, a programmed craving, and they can also program... I believe they programmed me to want to have a baby. I believe they programmed me, you know, several times to fall in love with people or to be attracted to certain people all through um, frequency, you know, frequency-based mind control. Um, recently, when that bar on the corner was still open, I went over there. It wasn't recently. It was a few months ago. But um, I went over there and had a couple of um, Jack and Cokes in a similar situation. I had craved whiskey and Coke. And then, I don't know if it was the next day or a couple days later, I started to smell um, that sour mash whiskey really, really strong, like I could smell it. And I knew it wasn't that I smelled it because I was, you know, excreting it out of my skin or anything like that. It was, I just smelled it. And they've also done that since then, especially when I was talking a lot about Voodoo Donut. I'd just be sitting at the computer and all of a sudden this strong donut smell would just... Um, and that went on for days and days and days. Um, and then a couple times I was also craving donuts. Um, they've also made me crave sushi. So those are the things that I can really, I've noticed and I thought, you know what, they're doing this to me. It was sushi once, or at least once. Donuts it's been, which is not something I normally would crave. Ice cream and sour mash whiskey and certain types of ice cream. And when I get those cravings, they're very strong. And so it's, natural for me just to say, okay, I will have a drink. I will have a donut. I will have a, you know, um, and it's not a big deal, but that's because I'm not a heroin addict. What they're doing to Chris is incredibly, incredibly devious and incredibly dangerous. And I don't think if they keep doing it to him, I don't think he can resist it. Like it's very hard for me to even resist these food cravings. So if it's hard to resist cravings for certain foods, just imagine how hard it would be for someone like Chris to resist a craving for heroin. So I really would like that to be stopped. I mean, I would, whatever I can do to stop that, I will try to make it stop because um, it's incredibly dangerous for him. And um, I will expose this drug dealer. And I'm pretty certain she works for these same people, essentially. I mean, she's obviously being protected. I just wanted to point that out, I guess. Um, oh, but yeah, because here is the reason. This, um, this one from 1997, I write, For about a month, I've been craving whiskey and Coke. Jack Daniels, preferably. See, it's always that kind. It's, I mean, that's the kind that I like, is sour mash. Preferably that, 
you know, like preferably. The amber syrup sweetness, the nasty bite, the fuzz buzz, blah, 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 blah. Blackouts and fats when you drink too much. Uh, and so, you know, this is my writing exercise. I just wanted to point out that that, you know, um, comes up in this. And it's Michael, who's the bartender. Michael Payne, who's the bartender. So I think Michael Payne might be behind some of these whiskey cravings. Does that mean Michael Payne is behind Chris's relapses? It might mean that. Michael Payne. I heard a double knock. Is not him? So who is it? Is it Calvin Johnson? Is it Robert Duncan? All of these people are linked up with some really, really powerful people. It needs to stop. Like I said, if it happens again, I'm going to expose her.